the world. This is international executive president's team member, Roger Shahata, all the way from Melbourne, Australia. We've got people on the call from Ghana at the moment, and I'm sure these people are going to be watching the recording from South Africa as well as Ghana. And we've got beautiful Alana here in Australia. It is 11.03 p.m., and it's only 2 o'clock, I believe, in Ghana and 12 o'clock in South Africa. So what an amazing opportunity for us to be all online at the same time in different parts of the world to share the information that we're going to share with you tonight. I'm really excited about tonight's call and I'm going to jump straight into it because as usual, these calls are very short, straight to the point, get the notes happening, get the activities happening and get your businesses happening. And tonight I'm going to be talking about really a mindset and and getting focused for the rest of this year so that you can make the year 2025 your best year ever. So I really encourage you all to pull out your paper and pens and write down some notes. And, you know, there's not much time left for this year, obviously, but there's still enough time for us to change things in our business, change things with our mindset, change things with our attitude, change things with our focus, change things with the way we work our business on a daily basis in what we do, how we do it, and sharpening our acts, so to speak, so that we can recruit more uh, people into our business as well as pick up more clients within our business. So, you know, as we are finishing off this year, I really want you to start thinking already about next year, even though we haven't finished this year. And one of the things I really want you to note down in your notes tonight is what level do you want to achieve in the year 2025? What do you want to achieve in your Herbalife business? So if you're a brand new distributor or supervisor with our company at the moment, you know, maybe your goal is to get to a world team or even get team by the end of 2025. And it's really important to have this focus from now because what you focus on is what you attract in your business. And when I look at my journey in the last 22 years with Herbalife, uh, nearly 23 years, um, everything I focused on, I've achieved when I had a focus and a vision and a plan that all worked together, okay? So, you know, when I was going get team in, in my first, uh, you know, six to eight months of Herbalife business, I had a focus after seeing a young girl making more money than me in Herbalife and that created a laser focus in my eyes to say, okay, a bit more hard work, a bit more consistency, a bit more activity, and it will happen. Now, I didn't know how it was going to happen, but because I had that focus and I had the work ethics to do work on a daily basis, as well as tracking my results with gauge sheets, I was able to make that happen. So there's a few lessons in what I just shared with you there. You know, first of all, what are you doing for your activities to make sure that your goals become a reality? If you don't have the activities in place, you know, you can say you want to be a president's team for the rest of your life, but if you are not putting activities in place and actioning those activities on a daily basis, and tracking your results to see how consistent you are and what your conversions are, then President's Team will never happen for you. It will be a wish for the rest of your life instead of be making it become a reality. So you really got to have that laser focus and really note down everything that you do on a daily basis so that you know how to improve in it, understand something that business, whether it's Herbalife business or any kind of business for that matter, 
is all about the lessons you learn along the way so that you can be more effective, productive, and efficient in what you are doing in your career. Okay? Again, it's whether it's Herbalife or anything else for that matter. So it's really important that you know what you are doing and tracking everything so that you can sharpen the axe, you can, you can, you know, get better on your conversions, you can, you can uh, talk better with people, you can have the better attitude, the better focus, the, the excitement, you know, that will attract people to your business and grow your business with. The next thing I want to talk about is for all this to happen, you've got to act like a leader within your business. And what does that mean? It means whether you already have an organization in your business or not, a team, if you do or do not have a team, either way, you've got to act like a leader. You've got to lead by example. You've got to lead by the front, okay? So the question you really got to ask yourself is, are you leading by example? And if the answer is no, that's okay. At least you're honest with yourself and say, what do I need to do to lead by example? You see, people follow leaders. They don't follow followers, okay? You want to be a leader so that you can grow leaders within your organization so that those leaders can grow leaders within their organization and that's how your business will grow and duplicate. But if you are just continuously following people who are doing stuff and you are not doing the activities yourself, you will never become a leader because to inspire, you've got to aspire. Okay, it means to, you've got to actually work hard to inspire other people to do the work just like you did or what you're currently doing. So the questions I always have in my mind as a leader is, okay, what is my posture? Am I slanting? Am I, am I focused? Am I, you know, have a great posture, have an energy about you that people are attracted with what you are doing and they want to be just like you. And when you go to the big Herbalife events, you know, you look at some of the leaders on stage and you see the posture that they have and the attitude they have and the way they talk and the, the way they're excited and the way they're passionate about everything. And that's why they have such amazing businesses. Now, a lot of you on the call might be saying, well, that's okay because they're already making the money. That's why they have that attitude. And, and the old saying is, no, you've got to have the attitude first, then the money will come. If you don't have the attitude first, you will never be a president's team member. You see, when I first started in Herbalife, even though I, I was broke, uh, you know, I just got married, we were losing all the houses, the cars, everything, I still had the attitude of a president's team member from the day I joined. It's like, it's just a matter of time, it's going to happen. So I had to have the right attitude so that I can attract the right type of people within my Herbalife business. So I always looked at my posture, I looked at the way I dressed, I looked at the way I talked, I looked at the way I mingled with people, the way I communicated with people. Was I perfect from the word go? No, guess what? Until today, I'm still not perfect. There's still things to work on. But you've got to chip at it a little bit at a time so that you can develop the skills and sharpen your axe, as I keep saying on tonight's call, so that you can communicate better and attract the type of people that you want to attract in your business. Because your people will do what you do, not what you tell them to do. So you've got to do all that by leading by example. I can't tell my people in my team 
to go get customers if I'm not getting customers. I can't tell people in my team to recruit people in their business if I am not recruiting people in my business because they will feel that I am not being truthful if I am not doing it. And that's why you guys always see me, you know, even yesterday I just picked up a new customer yesterday even though it was just a bottle of NRG. And, and, and it doesn't matter what you're selling, it's a new customer. And that's what you want. And just a, a few days ago, I picked up a wholesale customer who inquired through my website. And just a week ago, I picked up a new distributor from the Philippines who coincidentally went through my YouTube channel watching my Herbalife videos, reached out to me, and now he's a distributor in my business. How crazy is that? That is the power of all the tools we have today. And all we have to do is just do our work. And sometimes, and this is a good lesson for everybody on the call, sometimes we do not get the result from the method that we are doing. But because we're doing the method, we attract people from other areas, just like that Filipino guy. Okay. Had I never met him in my life, didn't even know him, he reached out to me and said, I would like to do this. And that's the power of the universe rewarding us for doing our job. So if we are doing what we are supposed to every day, don't worry about where the money is going to come from. I know some of you are struggling financially. Don't worry about the money. Do the work and the money will come. Trust me, I can tell you this from experience. Do the work and you'll get people inquiring with you about the business opportunity. You just work every single day in your Herbalife business, keep helping more people with the products in the business, and you will attract more customers and distributors within your business. When you're looking at leading by example, let's stick to that topic for a little bit. Look at your personal production, okay? What are you doing in your business every single month for, for production? What is your personal volume points every single month? Now, I can tell you now, if you're not doing a minimum of 2,500 volume points a month, you are not in business. You might think you are in business, but you are not in business. Two and a half is the minimum production you should be doing in your business every single month, okay? If you're not, then guess what? Go out there, talk to more people about the products in the business. It's just a matter of time that you will do 2,500 volume points a month in your business very easily. In my 22 years of business, I've never had to worry, not once worry about doing a minimum of 2,500 volume points. In actual fact, my business does between five and 10,000 volume points on average every single month. And that's just from existing customers, VIP customers, existing distributors, and eventually people who qualify supervisor. Okay. And it's been like that for the last 22 years. I've never worried about my personal volume. It's all happened naturally and organically because I am actively working my business every single day, okay? I talk to people every single day, okay? So if your volume is not growing on a monthly basis, you are not in business yet. Two and a half is the bare minimum. And that's got to be your first goal for you to be as a leader in your business. Because if you're struggling to do two and a half thousand, I can guarantee you your distributors in your business will never do two and a half thousand volume points if you're not. So that's leading by example. That's why you as a leader must do five and 10,000 volume so you can get distributors doing at least two and a half thousand in your organization, okay? As a leader, are you building? Are you actively recruiting people every single month in your business? What are you doing to get new members in your business every day? It doesn't take much these days, guys. The business today 
is much easier than it was 22 years ago for me, okay? Back in the day when I started, you know, mobile phones were just coming out or cell phones. You know, they, they were big bricks at the time. You know, it was a whole new thing. There was no such thing as, uh, you know, internet was just starting to come out. There was no Facebook. There was no Instagram. You know, we used to have nine MSN, which was like a messenger service, a messenger service like Facebook has Facebook Messenger. That was like the first messenger of the computer era, nine MSN. Now I'm really showing my age, but you know what? It was the way we did things back then. And, and guess what? It, it's funny. I laugh about MSN, but I remember one, when I first started in the business in the first year, because I had to find a job to bring in some income till we got our Herbalife career going, I remember continuously chatting with people on MSN every night because it didn't cost me any money, it just cost me time and I didn't have money to spend. So I remember chatting with this guy in South Africa, right? This is 22 years ago in South Africa and we started chatting and getting into it and he got really interested and I told him about the opportunity and then he said, I want to do this. Let me, let's get started. And I said, fantastic. And back then, we used to have a phone number that they had to ring to register with our, our business opportunity. So he rang from South Africa, my Australian number. He left his credit card details and I signed him up that night. I'll never forget that. And I thought, oh my gosh, how simple is this business? A guy I'd never met, I'd never seen him face to face. It was all just on a, a, like a Facebook messenger, MSN back then, you know, chatting. And I got him started that way. Okay. He didn't do much after that, but I knew it worked that I can actually recruit people through this method. And that's a lesson for everybody. If you're just doing activities every day in your business, you'll get the right people that join your business and it will be really exciting from there. Okay. <clears throat> so let's keep moving on. Let's talk about what else is really important as a leader. Well, the important thing as a leader is to attend meetings and trainings. You will never grow your business if you're not prepared to invest a little bit of money into your education to attend the meetings and trainings to learn the skills. You're quite lucky because you have someone like myself training you on a call like this tonight absolutely free, which is great. And I'm happy to do that for our team. But you need to take extra steps in your business by going to the local trainings in your country, in your city, <coughs> excuse me, to expand your business. So you've got to do that because you're going to hear things differently from someone else. It will be the same information. It will be the same information, but hearing it from different people, you'll understand it differently. And that is the power of the meetings and trainings because sometimes your sponsor or mentor can tell you something. You hear it, but you don't really understand it. And then you go to the meetings and trainings in your city and you hear it again, but they might have said it some way differently or maybe they said it in your language that you understood it a lot better. <coughs> and that's the importance of going to the meetings and trainings in your country. That's why I attend all the local events. You know, I know here in Australia, Alana and myself, we go to the monthly meeting every single month. We are there. And then Herbalife has the big events three or four times a year. We're there because that's part of our education. The next thing I want to talk to you about is, is your head, and again, this is all part of leadership, is your head in the game? What does that mean? Again, we spoke about focus, posture, and attitude, 
But are you treating this business, your business, as an $8 billion business? Or are you treating this business as maybe a $100 business because that's all it costed you for your business pack? See, this is all about your attitude on the way you look at your business. When I look at my business, I don't look even at my business as an $8 billion business, by the way. That's what Herbalife figures are. I look at my business as an $80 billion company. Because I 10x that, I 10 times that, I can see the possibility of that happening. That because when Herbalife gets to 80 billion, that means all our businesses will be at least 10 times bigger than what it currently is now. Okay, which would be absolutely amazing for me to make 10 times the income that I'm currently making. I could buy a house every single month with that money. So. You know, it's it's insane. So that's why we've got to have the attitude of not saying, okay, my business pack costed me $100. That's what my business is worth. That's, that's the wrong thinking. That's the wrong thinking. You've got to think not even an $8 billion. You've got to think $80 billion because Herbalife will reach the $80 billion mark over the next 20, 30, 40 years. And we all, even if we're not around, we will leave a legacy be behind for our families that they'll be taken care of for the rest of their lives. So that's the attitude that you need to have in your business. Okay? The, the next thing as a leader, and ne we're near the end already because it's already nearly half past here, the ability to learn how to learn. This is really important as a leader. You've got to be a willing student. You've got to be willing to learn because when you learn, then you're able to teach people how to learn. So learn how to learn first so you can teach people how to learn as well. So you, you are a student in your business as well as a mentor, which is a teacher in your business, okay? And, and guess what? 22 years in the business, I am still a willing student. I am still willing to learn. You know, I just finished this amazing book that I read the other day. You know, it took me two weeks to read this book that's, a, I don't know how many pages, 100 pages or 150 pages, Okay. I went through the whole book in, in less than two weeks and it's amazing. The whole book talks about mindset and attitude and focus and, and the law of attraction and, and really what you focus on is what you attract in your life. So a lot of times when I talk to distributors who are struggling financially, they say, oh, but you don't understand. I have these problems in my life and i want you all to understand something everybody in life has a problem in life that's just life you know everybody's got different size problems you've got a problem i've got a problem everybody's got some kind of problems the thing is true leaders don't focus on their problems because if you focus on your problems you will attract more problems. So focus on the solutions and you'll attract more solutions. Focus on the positives and you'll get more positives, okay? So when I have a problem, which by the way, it's never a problem, it's a challenge for me. In my, set, my mindset, there's no such thing as a problem. A problem is something that has no solution. Everything has a solution in my mindset, always has been. So it's like, okay, here's the challenge, what you call a problem, I call it a challenge. Here's the challenge. Now what do I got to do with this challenge to make it work? Okay? 
And I can tell you, building a brand new house, I'm going through a lot of challenges. There's no doubt about it. And sometimes I get thrown challenges and they say, but you can't do anything. This, this is the only way. And I say to them, no, it's not the only way. You just haven't found the way yet. Let's find the way together. And guess what? We work on that challenge together. And guess what? Surprisingly, we find a way to resolve the challenge. Okay? So everything really has a, a solution if you are willing, and that's the key word, if you are willing to be open to accepting the challenge and taking it on and looking for the solutions to overcome the challenge. So that's why it's important to always be learning. You know, I've learned so much about things like concrete and, and things that I have no experience in. And even now I'm at the stage where I can say, oh, you should be doing it like this, not like that. And it's their profession. And it's like, hang on, why are you telling me? You have no idea in concrete. Yeah, but I think the way you're doing it's actually wrong because I can tell you what's going to happen. And guess what? 99% of the time I'm right, even though it's their profession. So that's why you've got to always be willing to learn, willing to advance yourself because the, the more you sharpen your skills in everything, even if it's got nothing to do with your Herbalife business, it will somehow fall into place with what you do in your Herbalife business because it's working on your mental attitude. The last thing I want to talk about before we wrap up the call for tonight, okay, as a leader, the question you need to ask yourself, this is a very important one, and it's a great way to finish off the call tonight. It's what are you worth, okay? What are you worth? You all put a value of your life on your life, I should say, of what you think it's worth at the moment, okay? So what are you worth? Is the money you're currently making right now what you think you are worth? Guess what? I make extraordinary money with Herbalife, and I believe I'm still worth a lot more than what I'm currently making, okay? Okay. I make extraordinary money, but I, I'm still at the stage where I go, I'm worth more than this. I can advance more than this. I can build more than this, okay? So, you know, put a value on what you think this business, what you think you're worth in this business. If you think you're only worth, you know, I'm going to talk in South African for a minute, if you think you're worth a thousand rand a month and that's all you're worth, well, that's all you're going to ever get. If you think, you, you know, if you're in Ghana and you think you're worth a thousand cities a month in Ghana, and then that's all you're worth. What are you worth? You see, mine, I keep adding more zeros on the end of mine to bump up what I am worth. So if I'm worth, 30,000 or 40,000 or 50,000 Australian dollars a month now, I'm worth 10 times that. I need to 10 exit. So I need to be worth half a million dollars a month. Okay. So that's how you've got to change your attitude. You've got to increase the mindset, increase the activity to suit the mindset so that the dollars or the cities or the rand match up with your mindset. Jim Rowan always says, work, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. There's the secret right there. If you continuously work on yourself on becoming better in everything that you do, the money will naturally reach your, your mindset. But Jim Rowan always says as well, Pity the man who has the money but doesn't have the mindset. Because if you don't have the mindset and you've got the money, it's a matter of time that the money will come down to the level of your mindset. And that's why we always say, go to the meetings, be around the positive people, you know, have the right attitude, have the right focus, 
rub shoulders with people making good money at, in Herbalife, and that way one day you also will make that kind of income. So to answer your question, Alana, and for everybody on the call, this is a book that I just finished reading. It's called You Can Heal Your Life by Lewis Hayes. Okay. Uh, it is how many pages? I'll tell you right now. 200 and, 240 pages. So I read this in two weeks. I read this book. I couldn't put it down. Okay. Two weeks. And all I did really, it, it, it's only like 17 or 18 chapters. I read two chapters a night. Two chapters a night. And I, and honestly, I didn't read it every day of the week. That, that's why it took me two weeks. That's 14 days. Um, two chapters every night. I should have finished it in nine days. Okay? So it took me two weeks, five days more than I expected. But, hey, these things happen. So you can heal your life. Lewis Hayes, Louise Hayes, um, remarkable book, sold over 50 million copies worldwide. Okay, international bestseller um, and truly amazing book to read. It, it takes you through a journey, a mindset, and even talks about things that happen in our life is because we attract those things into our life. Everything, everything. I'm talking not only financially, I'm talking even health-wise, okay, which is really, really incredible. So I really encourage you to read that. I really encourage you guys to review this video, look at your mindset, look at your attitude, look at your focus, look at your leadership skills, look at your activities, look at everything that you are doing in your business and take it on board and say, okay, for me to go to the next level, all these things need to improve, sharpen, change, and it's just a matter of time, guys, I promise you. For those of you who are not get team yet, if you just make that decision today, that by 2025, by the end of 2025, that you are going to go get team no matter what, and you're willing to do the work and everything else, I promise you, it will become reality if you are diligent with your activities. And that's all I know. I know it's happened. It happened to me. That's all I did for the last 22 years. And every time I made that decision, I changed my pin. Okay. So that's it from me tonight, guys. God bless. Have a great weekend. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Get back to the people in your team who didn't watch this. Get them to watch it. Review it again, and we will see you guys all next week. Thanks again. Good night. God bless. Bye for now, everybody.